this ray of light is gonna be real annoying. I also did my eyeliner, so please respect me for that. Okie dokie. Last night when I was falling asleep, I was thinking a lot about what I was gonna say, and I was like, oh, Bappy, you should write that down, you're gonna forget it. And I was like, no, nah, I'll remember it. I forgot it. This is a shark onesie. My name's Abby. Welcome to Not Too Shabby. Happiness and self-care. I want to talk about being happy with your own work. If you're doing what you love and you're happy, then frankly that's all that should matter. I like the word happy, but I also don't because it's such a broad term. I really like the word euphoric. I've been using that a lot. There's a lot of different words to describe happiness. Being happy is difficult, especially if you have a mental illness like depression or anxiety or you get panic attacks. So I kind of wanted to talk about like, not necessarily like making yourself happy because you can't just like, I'm going to choose to be happy today because like that's not how depression works. People just tell people with depression, just be happy today, just like push through it. Oh my gosh, you're not that sad. You have nothing to be sad about. And it's like, most of the time they know they have nothing to be sad about and like, it just happens. Like they can't. You can't help that. I wrote a letter to myself when I was 16. I wrote, and remember to just be happy. And if you can't be happy, do something that makes you happy. Or be with the people that make you happy. When I was with my sister, we would just like sit together and just like watch mindless television shows and that helped. Or if I'm having a really bad week, I'm like, oh, I need to go to the beach because I love the beach. And Paul Roth, is like my saving grace when it comes to that. And so at least once a week, he's like, hey Abby, I'm gonna go to this beach, wanna come? And I'm like, oh yes, please. And the beach just like rejuvenates me and I feel like a new human being. I make these videos because they make me happy because I look at them and I record them and I edit them and I'm like, oh my God, I'm so funny. And I like laugh at my own jokes and I'm such a little idiot because I enjoy my own jokes so much. I guess it's just learning to accept it I guess finding little things that just at least lift your spirits like a little bit. So if I'm if I'm really down, then I'll like I'll color or I'll draw or I'll read, and that it might not necessarily like bring me up, but it like calms me down. I guess you know I like listening to music, like Broadway. Oh Broadway! I like listening to Broadway and having like little dance parties. I like I'll get my coffee and like a little bit of food. Like, Uncle Ben's ready rice, a gift from heaven. Or I have some like sugar snap peas. Have some of those. A little blanket fort. And, like read or like binge watch YouTube videos. I've been binge watching Dodie's vlog channel because I forgot she had it. And I've lit I think I've watched almost all of the vlogs on there. Like so many. <laughs> Doing things that make you feel like warm and cuddly inside, even though you're sad. Sometimes self-care is even just like letting yourself cry. Like letting yourself be really upset. Because I know oftentimes if you're feeling sad or anxious about something, you feel like you have to like hide it. So you just need to take the time to just bleh. let it all out. Sometimes you just need to like lie down and stare at the ceiling for like three hours and just like let yourself think or let yourself not think. You know, letting yourself actually feel the feelings that you have because if you push them down and like try to make them disappear, that's not good, babe. Treat yourself. Never ever feel bad about doing something for yourself. That is never a bad thing. If you want a new book, buy a new book. If you want that new album, buy the new album. If it'll make you, you know, you know, feel a little better about yourself. Anything you do for your own well-being is never going to be bad. You need to find something that's good for you. I don't, I don't want you to not, not be good. In, in the lovely words of RuPaul, if you can't love yourself, how the heck are you gonna love anyone else? Loving who you are even though you messed up. I'm messed up. I'm all sorts of messed up. I still love myself. But that doesn't mean I love myself every day. Take care of yourself. Treat yourself. Do something that makes you happy. Be with someone that makes you happy. I think that'll do it. Okay. Bye! I'm pretty sure this video is a mess. Looking at my notes. And I really want to know how, how messed up this lighting situation is. My coffee is behind the camera. Nothing is normal about this. It's not good.